Hi, this is Naila Grewal. Hi, this is Rohit Saraf. Hi, this is Kashmina Roshan. Hi, this is Jibran Khan. And, and we, we are in conversation, conversation with, with Grazia. Well, my character is Ria. She is uh, a vulnerable girl. She has shades of softness in her, which was a new experience for me because I've played a lot more fiercer and stronger characters in the past. Um, she is headstrong. She knows what she wants, and she fights also for what's right. And I feel like that makes her a little extra relatable with the girls of today. Uh, I play the character of Raghav. Uh, Raghav is a writer uh, from Dehradun. Um, he uh, well struggles with uh, the fact that he doesn't know how to say no to anybody, and uh, he usually puts everybody else above him. Uh, he doesn't really uh, care about himself so much, uh, which in the long run comes and bites him back in the ass because uh, he gets into troubles that he does not belong to, uh, belong in, and um, that eventually catches up. So uh, I think the story is about Raghav's uh, discovery with self and um, and his coming of age. Hi, I'm Rashmina. I play the character of Sanya. And Sanya is a golfer and an artist, and she's an emotional wreck. <laughs> uh, she wears her heart on her sleeve, and sometimes she needs to learn how to say no and not operate first with only her emotions and maybe think things through. Uh, so this is her journey of thinking things through. Um, hi, my name is Jibran, and I play the character of Sahir. Uh, Sahir is a first-year army cadet in the Defence Academy. And he's a very sensitive boy. Um, I think he has a lot of emotion, emotional quotient, and he's a giver, and he's a very sweet boy. Yes, <laughs> thank you. Well, I feel like we are kind of stuck in, the you know, the of... cusp of both these <laughs> worlds. Um, we were the '90s kids too, and we um, were. You know, we kind of grew up watching our slow motion dances and hair flying in the wind and our saris are flying uh, in the dunes and the mountains. So, of course, we are um, formative years and our initial memory of romance has been um, kind of encapsulated with such films. And now we belong to an era where we have dating apps <laughs> and we have swipe left, swipe right. and. Uh, maybe at the touch of a button, I can break up with you, right? So I feel like um, that's kind of how the two, <laughs> that's how the two worlds kind of differ from one another. But I feel the essence kind of always remains the same. Mm -hmm. yeah. The fact is that we all want to go back home to someone and feel like someone is our home. And um, I feel like that always remains the core, regardless of whether you're Gen Z, Millennial, or what do you guys call it now? Zillennial. Correct. Mm -hmm. Zillennial. Which is the cusp between the Millennial and Gen Z. Yeah. yeah. Um, I think she pretty much encapsulated yeah. everything, but I, I, I think uh, what I do want to add is that I feel like um, the romance uh, in the previous generation, which was for the Millennials, I think was more. Um, dreamy and I think today's is more realistic mm -hmm. uh, what we're bringing for example if you see Ishkwish versus Ishkwish Rebound mm -hmm. uh, I think Ishkwish Rebound uh, speaks to the audience which is like she said Gen Z I think the problems are more today uh, the conflicts are more today uh, and I think the reactions are more today um, which are uh, almost uh, impulsive but also uh, brave so yeah, I think that's what the difference is. So when I think about the 90s and then the early 2000s, it seems like a simpler time to me. Uh, when with the onset of social media, everything has just, we, there's like a layer of uh, complexity or confusion that's added more than it used to be there before. So I would say that a millennial rom-com, I think has that essence of simplicity mm. while also having the confusion, but with, uh, a Gen Z rom-com, there is so much, um, there's a lot of confusion and a little bit more conflict. Yeah. So that's... I mean, for the simple reason that, in, you know, for the millennials, I don't think there were so many ships floating around. Now there's like situation yeah, ship exactly. and, and all kinds of other ships. And, and so, rebound. 
and, exactly. and rebound. I mean, I think rebound pretty much existed back then also. I just don't think there was a term for it. Because we live in a more globalized world right now, I think there's a term for everything. Yeah. yeah. Um, Correct. And there, there's like influences of different cultures that mm. I yeah. that have um, sort of amalgamated with our culture as well. Right. So that's all there too. Yeah. yeah. And yeah. and not to mention Gen Z fashion is very different. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Correct. Fair enough. And uh, I would I mean they've said it all. So I would just like to add it. Like I feel like um, the love stories are crazier uh, now. The Gen Zs. are uh, wilder i feel and uh, Ooh, uh, wow yeah like i feel the previous years were simpler and they were much more sober than what it is now and yeah that's about it because it said everything yeah to actually add to what pushmina said that you know gen z fashion is very <laughs> different i i think but it's it's, the, it's coming back yeah, 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 no, from the millennials honestly, actually when we right. see these Yeah. Oversized like pants and and you know men wearing these There's oversized shorts and stuff. Right. That, it's all coming back. Yeah. So I yeah. think yeah. it's. Uh, I think maybe that is a. Yeah, fashion is. Then. Yeah, yeah, fashion is ever yeah. evolving and um, cyclical in that sense that it it was yeah. there and now it's back yeah. again. Yeah. 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 Um, it's pretty cool. Uh, it's but cool, yeah. I think love has its new shapes and forms, like um, Gibran also pointed out, yeah. and um, we're stuck in the cusp, <laughs> as we said. <laughs> We're all angels here. <laughs> no, I haven't, and I hope that somebody didn't do a rebound on me. Correct. Yeah. I mean, do, does a breakup of two days count? Not really, mm. no. So then I love <laughs> this answer. There's a line. <laughs> there's a line where Naila's character says, "Anya ka breakup to hota rehta hai." So I had a, I had one, one. Very long time ago, many moons ago. Really. But this is you talking to like Sanya or as Pushmina? No, as Pushmina. <laughs> okay, I had that. Better. Yeah, so we would keep breaking up and keep getting back together, and then family broke up. But this is when I was a teenager, so things have changed. Things, things have, have changed. changed. Things have changed. I've grown up. No, never oh, ever. Never. I think that's a no go, no. right? Yeah. yeah. And even if one has, I really, I suggest you don't raise your hand up. That's a bad one. Yeah. Own up to. Nice. Do not. <laughs> I like how you're looking at me. <laughs> 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 I haven't. Do I, I think I've been a great wingman. Yeah. No, yeah. I've unfortunately no, no, no. never been able to uh, wing anyone to anyone. Yeah. To be honest. Like sometimes I oversell the person. <laughs> <laughs> like a, but I'm I really mean it. But it's an overkill, mm. and that's being a bad wing woman. Yeah. Uh, tried but not worked. Yeah, tried yeah. but not worked. Yeah. Yeah. Really yeah. bad, bad work. woman. Yeah, it didn't work. Yeah, Con- in yeah. continuation bad to the last woman. one. <laughs> no. Not after a date, but like <laughs> after the conversation. Yes. Yeah, it was like kind of a date, and I was just like not vibing. So. Just... So you have. I was raise, so your, raise hand. your hand. Both there we go. Raise. There we go. Uh, does a does yes, ghosting have to? Okay, fine. Yeah. <laughs> no. Yeah, never. Yeah, of no. course. Yeah. No. <laughs> <laughs> no. Of course, I felt bad. Yeah. Like, अरे ये क्या चला गया मेरे हाथ से? Out of sight, oh. out of mind. Hmm. Yeah, yeah. I'm yeah. sure. <laughs> I'm sure. I can't keep my mouth shut. It just has to come out. <laughs> It has to come out somewhere, some And shape or form. <laughs> See the thing is, um, I have two best friends. We have a group called Vomi Stop, okay, on WhatsApp. If you have shared something with me, un- unless of course it's like really like 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 life altering kind of a secret that you've shared with me, of course then I respect it. But otherwise, if you've shared something with me, said don't mention it to anyone. I will mention it on that group. <laughs> it's just as simple as that. It's it's like a rule. It's a thumb rule between the three of us. That if something is shared with us, it must be shared with one another. If so, so yeah. It's an honesty group. It's just how it is, <laughs> unfortunately. I know so many people who are going to come at me saying, "Knew it, you." <laughs> I am one of those. <laughs> right What? Now. I've shared stuff with you. Not. That means Aisha and Rohan know. No, yeah, no, not definitely those. Yeah, definitely know. Okay. <laughs> definitely like know. Are you? Are you? He just he admitted it. We like, don't even need to say. This is just me. <laughs> You've shared like some, yeah, yeah, great stuff. Yeah, yeah. so that okay, I no. said that if it's like life or altering, okay, yeah, should I want to say? Wait, okay. you haven't shared. So I have two or... really close groups. My my two best friends, and we call each other Galentines. And then Cute. I have my 
How original. All my cat. Uh, yeah, dude. Guys, minus two workers united, guys. Very good. Two workers united. Very good. Very good. Very good. Continue being haters. <laughs> But we love the Galentines. Yeah. Okay. So there are Galentines, and then one with my cousins. I'm not going to say the name. Mm-hmm. Uh, you must. No, no. So you between, must. So between, between, between. No, no. Then the rest of my family will feel bad. It's called the real deal. Oh, the real deal. Like the younger ones, okay? The more uh, that was. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, nice. so basically, in these two groups, everyone tells each other everything, okay? So if I find out information before the others have, I feel like it's my duty to pass it on to the others. <laughs> uh, so it's just duty. Ishubaya, are you listening? <laughs> no. no. Uh, um. I've started accidentally fights. on purpose oh. because <laughs> she shouldn't have been with that person, and I'm happy I did it. Ooh. Nice. How Galentine. does she feel about it? She feels like I saved her life. <laughs> wow. Okay, great. I've started fights, but never ruined <laughs> relationships. Yeah, yeah. No. No. Yeah, yeah. Girl of course. Girl. Wow. Yeah. I like how there's an of course that follows like, with oh, it. No, no. Like, hua hai. मैं तो करूँगा ही ना date यार. नहीं नहीं नहीं. Like मतलब हुआ है. Yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah. Let's call that white light. If I'm It's sleeping okay. yeah, like, at 7 p.m., I'm just not into meeting. PM. Yeah. <laughs> if I, if you get a message saying, "Oh, sorry, I passed out," I, I didn't agree. pass out. And you know, like when people think that you're happening and they message you at like 10:30 saying, "Let's meet in an hour," it's like no. My makeup is off. My my pajamas are on, and I am watching something on my TV. So do not message me. Yeah. I've I've reached a point in my life. I've reached a stage in my life where people have stopped messaging me. <laughs> yeah, same. Yeah. I'm because, not invited also. Because yeah, of how yeah, ridiculously yeah. and unabashedly I say no. Correct. So quite anti-social. Yeah. 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 No. Oh, you have to Bhai, tell. You have to tell. You are very problematic. Yeah, Rajiv. We must never share relationships. Bachpan ke din hai, yeah. Bachpan ke din. Bachpan ka. Yeah, like. Three years old, pal. Yeah. Bab bab bab. Bab 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 bab. You have to say. The guy, the guy, she said not to worry about this. <laughs> He's your partner? No. No man. No, no, no. That's like that's a that's a problem. That's yeah, a problem. Yeah. You are a problem then if you yeah. have forgotten. And then really like if I I don't meet my friends and they're not inviting me and now I start problems with my partner like I'm just gonna be very lonely. Oh, <laughs> Naila, I'm always there. Thank you. I'm gonna call you. Yeah. You know, at this <laughs> platform <laughs> of Grazia, <laughs> I must reveal a secret oh, my God. about myself. Okay, that's fine then. Okay. The, nobody knows about this so grazia you're the first one to know i have a group with myself oh it's really weird it makes no sense it doesn't make sense to me also but i love it and that group is called loner for life <laughs> oh. and i have the worst picture of myself as the as a display picture of that <laughs> don't ask me what i do on that group <laughs> but i just had to share it i don't even know why but i had to yeah. so, cute That's that. Be sweet, Luna boy. <laughs> Sorry. Really? No, he has. You, listen, I listen, listen. Myself, listen, listen, listen. You're validating me so much right now. No. You have no idea. So no, no. basically, I have one with myself, but I share all my blood reports on it, <laughs> so that I have a place that I can. Yeah, like <laughs> passport. Guys, y'all can start, like, you know, <laughs> messages. Like there are, like there are days when I, like. Feel like I want to talk to myself, but I also talk to somebody, but I also don't have the energy. Kartik so I, Kartik. huh? Kartik, <laughs> he does yeah, that. Yeah, no, exactly. He really yeah. motivates oh himself. Oh my yeah. god! Something. So, Rohit calling Rohit. So I, 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 I basically want to speak to somebody, but I don't have the energy, and <laughs> I can't. I, I feel like I'll be disappointed with the kind of expectations I have in people. So basically, the idea behind having that group with myself is that there are days where. I feel like I want to talk to somebody but I also don't have the energy to speak with anybody. <laughs> I also mm-hmm. feel like I need to see I know exactly what I need to hear from the person who I'm talking to. And I feel like there is no better person than myself for that. So I send messages like hey man how are you feeling? Hey I'm good but just a little down. Don't worry man you've got this. So those <laughs> are the kind of conversations I I would have in myself. It's really bizarre but it really no, I genuinely has. I think it's quite self motivating. It's so cute. Yeah, it's so cute. cute. He sends voice notes to himself that like, what are you doing man? Fix no, it. Like, no. Fix this shit. No, yeah no. yeah I'm pretty sure you do that. No no. Okay I got it dude. That's what the group is for. 
You heard it first on Grazia. <laughs> to make an ex jealous. I mean, no, no, no. But how would they know if? Yeah, well, like in front of them, basically. No. Yeah, no. That's shady. Oh, like no. she says, out of sight, out of mind. That ex is no. not coming around us. <laughs> hmm. So we are coming on the twenty-first of June <laughs> with our film Ishq Wish Rebound. It's a lot of fun. It's a romantic comedy with lots of drama and confusion. And incredible, incredible songs and dancing. It's a beautiful typical music. Popcorn watch in a theater. We're very, very excited to see you on the twenty-first of June, as Jibran mentioned. Yes, uh, in a theater near you, far away, wherever you are. Grab your partner, grab your friends, and come to the cinema and cheer us on and feel that love that we all have missed.